What is this incredible looking yacht? Who built it? And why should you be interested? Well, the yacht is called White Rabbit, and at 84 meters long, she is the largest trimaran in the world. She was built by Echo Yachts. We'll be talking a little bit about Echo Yachts in a moment. But first of all, there's so many unusual features about White Rabbit that I wanted to tell you about. First of all, she's built entirely from aluminium. That means that her hulls are aluminium and also the superstructure. That's really unusual on an 84 meter yacht, which are always pretty much built from steel hulls with an aluminium superstructure. That has a lot of advantages to it. But one of the advantages of aluminium is that it's a lighter weight material than steel. That means that White Rabbit can actually reach 18.7 knots top speed. And she has diesel electric propulsion. Now, typically diesel electric can result in a little bit of a compromise on speed. Uh, I think of the wider yachts, which I did a series of videos on, and that was a beautiful yacht, highly successful, 150 foot yacht, but she wouldn't get much over about 15 knots absolute top speed, um, which for some people was a problem. So to reach 18.7 knots on an 84 meter yacht is absolutely fantastic with diesel electric propulsion. And of course the consumption is greatly reduced as well. She has a range of 5,000 nautical miles. Now that huge range is partly because of the diesel electric propulsion, but also partly because she has over 100,000 liters of fuel capacity allowing her to really cruise throughout the world. Another unusual feature is that she can accommodate 28 guests. Now she was built for a specific owner who had that requirement. She's actually the fifth uh, of a range of white rabbits. The first two were smaller fed ships. Then he built a couple of catamarans before moving on to the Echo Yachts 84 meter trimaran. Uh, he wanted to have 28 guests on board and that includes two master staterooms, one of which is on the main deck and the other of which is in the center hull and is intended to be used on long passages. It doesn't end there though, because apart from White Rabbit, the 84 meter, he also commissioned a support vessel called Charlie, which is a catamaran to hold all of the water toys that he wanted. Charlie was built with a large helicopter landing pad, 11 watercraft, and actually holds her own catamaran. So the trimaran has a catamaran that also has a catamaran called Bit. I told you, this is quite an amazing and unique vessel. The designer of the yacht is called Sam Sorgiovanni. Now, as much as that sounds like an Italian, it's actually an Australian design firm that designed White Rabbit, both the exterior profile and also those gorgeous interiors, including those two master staterooms and this incredible central bar on the main deck. It doesn't end there though, because San Sor Giovanni has also worked with Echo Yachts to produce the designs of a 105 meter trimaran. Now this is a little bit different in design to White Rabbit. White Rabbit had quite a conservative uh, profile to her, which was the request of the owner. So the 105 meter proposition has far more flowing, modern lines, a much more exciting look to it. It's been designed uh, with a 13 meter by three meter swimming pool on the aft deck, a, a helipad on the bow. It has room for a sinner inside. But as a matter of fact, if a yacht owner decides that he wants to buy and build that 105 meter trimaran, they can pretty much put whatever they want into it because this is at concept stage. I kind of hesitate to use the word concept really because yacht concepts can really sometimes be quite out there, quite unrealistic and unachievable. That's not the case with this 105 meter Sam Giovanni design. This is a yacht that's already got the naval engineering, the hull design will be done by the same people who did the hull design of White Rabbit. It's really an evolution and a development of a yacht that already exists. Echo Yachts are actually in an interesting position right now, and I think their time has really come to grow into a much larger and more popular uh, yacht builder. And I say that because the Australian yachting industry took a very heavy hit a few years ago when the exchange rate was very unfavorable. And also it just seemed so far to go to Australia to build a yacht. 
Now things have changed, the exchange rate is more favorable. But not only that, if one good thing has come out of this awful COVID that we're all suffering from, is that people are far more willing now to do business over platforms such as Zoom, which have had an incredible growth in this time period. It just doesn't seem any more so necessary to fly backwards and forwards to Australia to get your yacht built. Not only that, at a time when yacht builders across Northern Europe are absolutely full with order books, meaning there's long waiting times to get large yachts built, Echo Yachts have availability. Now, they haven't been dormant in the time between the building of White Rabbit and now. Lots and lots of very large and very well-known yachts, as they pass through Western Australia, will stop at Echo Yachts to get work done, sometimes quite significant work as well. So they have real experience in the super yacht sector of a practical nature. I think all of those combinations together means that they have a very rosy future ahead. And in fact, when you look at their website, you can see that they have proposals, not just for the 105 meter, but also for a variety of smaller catamarans and monohulls. On the subject of not having to travel quite so often now because of uh, COVID, I have to tell you, I will actually be flying back to the States in a few days time. I have two yachts here in the Med to film before I go, and then two yachts immediately when I arrive in the States to film actually in the Bahamas. I'll be flying by a normal airline, not by private jet. But I have to say that one of the things I'm enjoying in the United States is working closely with some of the partners of Northrop & Johnson. As I mentioned in the last vlog that I did, we have some real high-end luxury partners. I spoke about Ulysse Nardan in the last video, um, but another luxury partner that we have is NetJets. So on my last visit to the States, I took a moment to film this for you. Well, as you can see, I'm in a private jet at just under 30,000 feet. Well, a little bit more than just under. We're actually on the ground in Fort Lauderdale International Airport. But what does a jet have to do with a yachting YouTube channel? Well, quite a lot, actually, since the overlap of yacht owners, yacht charterers and private jet users is absolutely huge. I know because when I was working for an Italian yacht builder, the CRN shipyard in Ancona, I would say that probably nine out of 10 of the owners would arrive by private jet. But you may not know that most of them don't own that private jets. And as a matter of fact, Northrop and Johnson have a partnership with NetJets, which is by far and away the largest network of private jets in the world. And it's the choice of most wealthy people when they need to go from one point to another in a private jet. For, for many, it just doesn't make sense to buy an actual jet aircraft, uh, unless you're gonna be using it pretty much every week. There are safety issues, there's maintenance issues. It's a horrendous expense if you're not going to use it all the time. And so NetJets was born many years ago, and as many of you probably know, is now a Berkshire Hathaway company, and it allows people who need to travel privately to be able to get a jet anywhere in the world to go wherever they want without all of the hassle of jet ownership. The hassle and the expense as well, I would say. If I'm a California businessman who's in London on business and I want to travel to Italy to see my yacht being built at CRN, I can make a call to NetJets Owner Services and they'll have a jet there with me to take me to the shipyard and bring me back to my hotel again in the evening. So I hope you enjoyed this little deviation from the usual yachting content. And now back to the vlog. Well, I'll be visiting a lot more of Northrop & Johnson's partners in future weeks. And I'm looking forward to reporting back to you on that. Of course, the theme of this channel will always be yachts that are for sale, yachts that are for charter. And I have many really exciting yachts lined up to film and to show you. So if you do enjoy all of this content and you're passionate about yachts, don't forget, don't smash the like button, delicately press it. And remember to subscribe and press that little bell icon as well so that you get notifications when new videos come out.